Today we're going to look at how to efficiently and effectively set up the piece of equipment that we call a reflux condenser. And there are lots of little things that we have to be uh, cognizant of. First of all, we have to have a what we call a variac, which is going to be our power supply. And then we're going to have a heating mantle, a stirring motor, and a lab jack. And let's see how we do this. First of all, we're going to plug in our heating mantle into the 120 volt supply. Okay. Now there are two actual settings on this uh, Variac. Uh, students ask me this all the time. Should I put it set it at 140 or 120 volts? Well, you're going to set it at 120 because that's the uh, that's the voltage of the uh, place where we plug it in. And so that's going to be down. You can see that it's on by this uh, this red light here. Now, don't worry about this yet, but I want to point out something that's very important. Here's our heating mantle, and that's going to be plugged in directly into the Variac, not into the 120 volt uh, power supply, okay? So the, the thing that the, you have to be aware of and this doesn't have to be on right yet. Okay, we're going to use a 50 mil round bottom flask, which you have in your supply, and it says 50 mils on it. You can see that right there. And this should fit right into this heating mantle, very comfortably, almost like a baseball in a catcher's mitt. Okay, it'll fit in there nice and, nice and snugly. Here, I have a 25. This this also seems to fit in there, but it's not designed for it. The 50 is designed for this. So don't use any round bottom flask that doesn't fit your heating mantle. Okay, okay so what we have then is our lab jack, which we can move up and down like this. And on top of it, we're going to put a stirring motor. Now, it says on the side of this round bottom flask, 50 milliliters. That is 50 milliliters right up to this neck here. And so we don't want to fill it up more than about halfway. So let's uh, say that's this is acetone that I just poured in here. And this is 25 milliliters of acetone in here. So we're going to clamp it in in this fashion. Okay, that fits in. I'm using just a very common utility clamp. We'll put it right there and we're going to put our uh, heating mantle under it okay like that and that should fit in there very snugly and you should be able to turn the uh, you can see it stirring in there you should be able to make sure that that uh, stirs very well sets up a little vortex in there and you can even make that a little bit tight all right okay now the this is the condenser it has an inlet and an outlet for water now I've chosen from our common equipment uh, the hose that is designed for it we're going to put in water from the bottom not from the top and that would go right in there like that you see and this is the outlet for the water and that's going to fit in just like that now make sure that the uh, the outlet hose and the inlet hose are on there snugly enough but not so snugly that you can't get it out afterwards because uh, if you put it on there too loosely uh, you may get a flood and I know about floods. I'm an expert on it. Okay, so that's going to be like that. Water's going to come in and water's going to go out. And so I would turn this on. Okay, and uh, the green gooseneck water supply, the faucet here, is going to then uh, put water into the condenser at the bottom and then it's going to fill up and go out this way. Make sure that the exit hose is in the cup sink. Okay. So then you can dial in on the Variac 
the uh, amount of energy that you want to put into this heating mantle. Now it's important to understand why you do this. Okay, so you do this first of all to uh, if you're using a, a solvent, a pure solvent like acetone, let's say, to run a reaction which has a boiling point of about uh, 56 degrees, uh, you would set it so that it would boil. And when it boils, then it's going to vaporize up into the condenser. The condenser is going to be cooler than the liquid down here, and it's going to condense and back down in there. So what it does is provide you a constant temperature of about 56 degrees. Now the other thing is that this uh, this constant vaporization, condensation, and returning back to the liquid state here uh, keeps the temperature constant, but also prevents the acetone from vaporizing out the top. You see, so that that's the uh, that's the charm of the whole thing. You keep the volume constant and the temperature constant. And that's what you want to know to do this particular uh, operation. And that's how you set up the, uh, the, um, the, the condenser. Now, I want to point out one more thing. When you are ready then to stop the reaction, you just simply turn this off and remove the heating mantle and you let the thing cool, okay? So you don't have to uh, have to stir it anymore. And then you can lower this jack to uh, to let this cool. And that's the way we set things up.